Good evening and welcome back to FIFA 23 and the Barra Career Mode. We're back with another episode. In, today, in today's episode, we're going to be playing three more games, three more league games. We've only got six games left in the season. That'll be today's episode and that'll be, well, the next episode, whether or not it's tomorrow or the day after. You'll have to find out. Um, but we've got six games left and the first game we play is against the big ones. Against Brentford, who are absolutely kind of smacking this league up a little bit. They're 12 points clear, sitting pretty in not only the promotion spots, but in the championship spot. Like, you know, they're going to win the championship quite easily and get promoted back into the Premier League. All we are really hoping to do in these last six games is kind of just put in a decent run of performances, a decent string of performances. Um, it doesn't really matter so much if we win or lose or draw games because we're sitting okay in the table where we are and i don't really see us making up the 10 points that would that we would require to uh, to find a playoff spot that ship has kind of sailed a little bit um but you know a couple of wins here or there you never know you never know so we're just going to try and put in a decent run of performances try and fight back a little bit after having lost a couple of games that i don't think we should have lost and uh, that'll, that's just all we're really focused on. Not really focused on much else other than that. And there we go. That's a good little bit of play to move us up the pitch. At a good rate. And now there's not really much support. I'm just going to go back. Now all the attackers seem to just like move up and stay there. Which isn't the best because it does mean that they get a little bit static. But there we go. There's an opportunity. Over the top, we jump, can't quite get to that. We'll hold it, knock it, knock it down inside, and then we're going to fire off the shot. Can't quite get the shot away. And now the press is on. Okay, they've gone backwards, then they go through the middle, and that's a lucky pass. And Mac is there to clean up and does keep hold of it, even though that was pretty close to a, a Brentford striker nicking that and running away with it. We do keep the ball and now we move forward again. Forward again and again. And that's a heavy touch, but inside. Lovely pass. Robbie Gotts. No, that's not the pass, but we've stolen it. GG might get there. Can't quite get there. Didn't really know where the ball was, it seemed. It kind of seemed like it was kind of, uh, you know, a bit flustered. Okay. Pass has got to go forward, so Mac intercepts it. Really nicely done. Round the corner, and there might be a pass inside if Sutton can get there. Oh, good defence. And that's a lovely interception. Now we have another chance here. And I'm going to shoot it early with Sutton. And it, oh, it's well saved. We're actually putting in a decent performance here to start things off. A decent first 30 minutes of the episode. Doing quite well at getting the ball back. Chasing back here. Oh, that's gone. And there we go. We do make the tackle that we need to make. Now, you know what? Gigi's going for the run. I might just send it and see if he can get there. He's Kind of been blocked off a little bit. A heavy touch out, but the guy does make a good pass. Oh, I tried to block the pass. I thought it was coming. It was coming. Keepers. Keeper actually did come out. Didn't get anywhere near the ball. But it was good defense because we do see off the attacker anyway. What well on, Mac. Oh, I can't get the pass away. Lovely tackle. What a tackle from uh, O'Hora. We go in 0-0, having had a couple of shots, or maybe, you know, one... Was it one shot? It might have been two. Um, Brentford, I don't know if they actually got a shot away, or if we stopped them every time before they could get a shot away. Yeah, there we go. One to zero. And our XG was actually still at zero, even though that shot from distance from Sutton was, I think, going in. So that surely the XG was a little bit higher than dead zero, but never mind. Freeman trying to get around the back. Can't quite get there. However, that's a heavy pass, and what a challenge from Sam Check. We keep control of the ball, and Robbie Gotts is gonna, gonna charge in and take the shot on. And oh, he's missed it. I was about to celebrate. I've almost knocked me hat off. <laughs> oh my word, he's cut across the ball, it's only just gone wide. Keeper was diving, but the keeper was diving low. If he, if that's on target, that's in. Keeper is not stopping that one. Well claimed. 
Really well claimed. And Robbie Gotts through the middle. Gets it. Another chance here. Tap it home. We can't quite tap it home. The chip maybe was on there, but we weren't able to get that with the heavy touch from Robbie. That's a good block. And that's a lovely pass. But oh no, it's not. Oh no, but Robbie inside. GG inside again. Sutton goes. GG round the corner. Over the top of the keeper. It's in. It's in. What a goal. Oh my word, that might be one of the best worked goals that we have scored. All of the passing was neat, intricate, and the finish was absolutely top class. Right in the corner. What a goal that was. GG finds another Finds another goal. He has really, really become like our go-to man. When we need a goal, he finds it. 28 goals this season in 34 games. Over the top, Robbie got... No, sorry, that's Gigi chasing it down. Good pressure. Get out wide. Get out wide, Jack. Oh, okay. Can't quite get there. Slide in. Oh, there's, there's fouls. There's everyone sliding. Everyone's all over the place. It's a yellow card for Ahura. It was a bad challenge. Let's take that yellow card. Off you come. Miller comes in. And we will continue on. Okay. Okay, win that header maybe? Oh, not quite. Oh, no. Oh, what a block, Miller. Oh, my goodness. That's a good block. Out wide. That's where the space is. Heavy touch, but that's okay. Keep going. Keep going. Yep, inside. There's the pass. Okay, the pass wasn't quite on, but in the middle. And Robbie got to fire it home, and that's a lovely goal. Again, that's a lovely goal. That's a brilliant goal. From, from the potential of it being 1-1, Miller made an absolutely brilliant block. An insane block. Gets in front of the volley. And then we run up the other end and really nice passing. The last pass was absolutely incredible. I think it was Freeman into Robbie Gott. Just just perfect. Perfect weight. Right allowed him to just smack it home into the kind of across the keeper the other way. It's a good challenge from Freeman, but doesn't manage to hold on to the ball. And that's a great block. And Sam Check finds a way to get the ball away, but we've lost it in trying to get the ball out of the danger zone. We've actually given it back to Brentford, who are kind of not really playing with a lot of intensity right now, and that's what they get punished for. Here we go, GG, run inside, pass will be on, and there it is, and there it is. That was... That was not league leaders. You know, that was not what league leaders do. No intensity at the back. The centre-back's just holding the ball... A little bit aimless, and Gigi picks it off, runs the length of the, well, the kind of the half, not the field. Oh, it's a good save. And then finds the pass, because the, the pass was going to be open. It was, because it was a two-on-one. If he doesn't, if he closes me, I pass it. If he doesn't close me, I shoot. And I score, you know? So, that was just a really, really good... Good example of how a two-on-one should be executed. If they if they do close you down, then fine. You uh, you make the pass and your teammate scores. If they don't close you down, then you know you go yourself and you put the ball in the back of the net. And that'll be a 3-0 against the league leaders. Where has that kind of performance been in the last couple of months? I don't really know. Either way, brilliant performance. That was that was incredible. That was honestly incredible. We've played so much better in that game than we have in the last couple of weeks. So, we take a win, and uh, we next up, oh, next up is Hull. Okay, player suspended, or Horus had too many yellow cards, so we'll have to play a new um, player in there. Hill, 57, Potts at 47. You're just going to keep them going for now. There's no need to make a decision on those right now. Hull up next. Hull are on 53 points, so they're below us. And we've actually closed the gap to the playoff spots by two points in that game. So we got a win, and Reading either got a draw, or Swansea got a loss, and Reading got a win, and they changed around and whatnot. We have closed that gap to eight points. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. 
there is there is still a chance one win does not mean that we've suddenly we're suddenly gonna do it but there is still a chance okay Hobbs is gonna go back on the bench because uh well he was the title character of the last episode wasn't he absolute banger to rescue a draw okay there we go out to Jack Armour we're looking for another win here today but to get again just to push our chances of getting up into those promotion areas those playoff spots and again this has not been a good start Holmesy is chasing back and that should not be going in that is bad keeping and bad defending Stupin Yang puts it in. Lovely pass. Sets Marshall into a gap. Robbie Gotts. No nope, corner ball. Corner ball. We'll take that. Okay, about to Marshall into Williams. Don't know if I want to shoot with Williams. Oh, but that's it. That oh oh it's gone in wow um I didn't think that was going to go in I thought perhaps that GG by kind of twisting and turning had kind of uh ruined his chance to put that across the keeper and into the back of the net but keeper made a bit of a mistake there and it goes in and that's his 29th goal it's another goal for GG he is scoring a lot of dang goals for us and there's definitely definitely going to be around next season as well okay close him down and that's gone wide there we go. They tried to make the pass and kind of shoot it into the open net, but so many players back for us that we, we kind of closed that option off as well. Oh, that's lovely play. I'm going to shoot it early, and it's going to come off the post. I shot it early because I didn't know if Sutton's touch was going to be good enough to get him into the box. And it did kind of seem like it was a little bit of a slow touch, so... Shooting early might have been the right call. And of course, it was very close to going in. Lovely defence. Out for a corner. And we're instantly... I like that we're back 1-0 already. Not, not chasing the game for too long. Well done, Jack Armour. And he gets it away. And he gets it away. And he gets it away. And through we go. Inside. Inside again. Here we go. Marshall is through. Going to slot it. Oh, I went for the finesse. Keeper was equal to it. Now Robbie got to, with the ball in. Gigi gets up. Williams shoots it near post. And that's why I didn't really want to shoot with Williams the first time. Because he is a centre back and his shot is not as good. But it was worth a go because he was in the position. If he's in the position and you don't have a go, it's a little bit ridiculous. You know, you've got to have a go at least. Over the top, Sutton's there. He can get the jump up. He can't. The keeper does do well to claim that, Mosquera. Well done. And we've got the ball back again, though, on the attack. GG, can you find the pass? I mean, the ball's kind of just rolling around there. No one really alert and chasing in, following up, which is what they teach you, strikers, as a, young, as a youngster, follow up, because the ball might pop out. Oh, that's deflected. That easily could have gone in. Come on. Yeah, lovely work. That was Freeman. I didn't know who that was, but that was incredible work. And he wins it back. Oh, not quite. And that's half time. That's great hustle. On the halfway line, I don't care who you are. If you're in the position to stop them from moving the ball forward easily, you've got to do it. You've got to do it. And he did do it. Okay. Looking at the other results, Burnley losing is useful. Reading drawing is also useful. But we need to be winning. We need to be winning. If we're going to take advantage of other results going our way, we've got to also do our bit. Now, why'd they go? Okay, I'm just going to drift back with Freeman and stay in position there. Make sure I've got an extra defender back. And, oh, Jack should have got there, I think. And that's a good save. We do see it off. I felt, I felt like Jack should have got to that, a left back. Um, the ball wasn't, it wasn't like a crazy special ball cutting the defence. It was a little bit weak, in fact. 
but inside. GG, keep going. And the pass is there. If you can get there, he does get there. Over the top. And Robbie Gotts goes for the Scorpion, kicks the guy. Maybe GG just should have gone on his own and absolutely leathered that and seen if, you know, the shot was on. Over the top. GG, first time. Good save. Robbie Gotts follows up. Freeman is also there. Wins the header. Back across. Sutton will win the next one. He does. Back to Sutton. Inside. Lovely pass. And that's going to be a corner. I think we're going to get away with that. It is going to be a corner. We are putting the pressure on. Here we go. Jump up. Win the header. He does win the header, but can't get it on target. That's still a good effort. We are putting the pressure on Hull here. They are not enjoying themselves. And they do pass it out. We win that header. We can. Now, Ollie, win the next one. He does. Pass it away. Move the ball forward in sensible fashion. Nice. Yep, very nice. Not really much on here. But we go back to Ollie Sutton, who somehow loses it, but Marshall keeps it forward to Robbie Gotts. Turns him inside. Get there, get there. Oh, I can't quite get there. Well, that's a good challenge. However, they've turned me around there. And that's a really good chasing back. I think that was Williams who got back and made up for the fact that he was a little bit out of position earlier. Got to go out wide. And we do claim it back. Well done, Sam. That's a risky pass. Out wide. There's a bit of space. Okay. Inside there. Back we go. You know, I'm going to go out to Sam check and try and work a little bit of space the other side. Over the top to Sutton. He wins the header. And gets it back. And out wide. You know what we're going to... Oh, yeah. There's Sutton. There's the pass. Back across. And that's in. That's in the far corner. That was a... Ooh. That was an odd one. That was an odd one. But I think that's Freeman who's put it in. No, it's Marshall, the other winger. Put it in right in the corner. And that's one where it doesn't matter how powerful it is. Because if the keeper can't even reach the corner, it doesn't matter. It's in such a good position. The keeper just cannot get to it. And from 1-0 down, we're now 2-1 up. And looking to just see things off from here. Do not give away. Exactly like that. Exactly like that, we've gotten away with it. It's hit the post. Oh my word, they're fizzing it around now. And, oh, it's a good save. Oh, they're fizzing it around. We almost gave it away straight away. We worked so hard. Get the goal back to lead the game. Out for another corner. No. Is that it? That's it. He didn't give him another chance. We cleared it and he didn't give him another chance. And we take the 2-1. From 1-0 down, GG hits a good one, a good shot. Reading did get the win, but Burnley lost. So we are a little bit closer. The gap is still 8 points. But now it's actually 8 points to 3 of them. We've got 4 games left, that's 12 points, that's 76. And there's Swansea to worry about. It's going to be close. It's going to be close. If we keep winning, it's going to be close. Scout report available. I'm Caleb Hogg. Yes, we'll see what you're made of. We will not, I'm afraid. Um, yep, same for Gregory. We'll see what you're made of. No for Roman Wills. And yes to Felix Winter. Albie Morgan's positional development has finished, I think. It has, so he can now slot in at DM. That is his new position. He knows how to play it. Brown wants better wages. I mean, aren't you... You're not even on a contract. So Brown asking for better wages is a bit of a weird one. We'll get to it soon enough, lad. Maybe. <laughs> Probably not. Okay, let's make a little bit of a rotation here. 
I'm starting at you, Khan. We're going to go back to Hobbsy, and we're also going to get Morgan in. And let's get JJ on the left, and Robbie take a break for Colin. There we go. Just a couple of changes. Rotation, no, no kind of like reason why, just for rotation purposes. Uh, we keep GG in because I feel like I can't really bench him unless his fitness is down. Because uh, he is scoring goals for fun. Well done. Well done, JJ. That's so sensible. Now he moves it forward. And the pass is on to Colin if, if there was a bit of fizz on it. Which there wasn't. So we go back and we keep control of the ball. Hobbsy drags the centre back out of position. But can't do much else. And that's fizzed out wide. So we keep the ball. We'll, able, we'll be able to keep the pressure on Barnsley here. Lovely play. JJ with the long shot. Goes wide. Okay. I don't mind throwing a couple of long shots early doors. Because one of them might come off and you might be 1-0 up. Because you've got plenty of time. In the game still, you know. So there's, there's just there's still chances. What on Hobbsy? Colin across in the gap. GG can't get there. He went the wrong side of the defender, and that's just been fizzed back from the defender. That is wild. Easily could have gone in his own net. JJ down to Mac. He's going to hit the volley, and it's going to be saved. That was on target though. Okay, keep going. Oh no, I was going to bring the keeper. I've got to bring Mac a crot in the air. That's just good play. That's just good play from Barnsley. They got their one chance. They took it. Haven't really done much else. Been all us, really. All in. That's a bad tackle. GG will take a yellow for that. Good save. Okay, yellow for GG, definitely. Yep, he is on a yellow. Probably means he will come off at half time having got that yellow card, but. Oh my word, that's a good bit of play. Good blocking. Oh, that's a lucky pass. How has that not been picked out by the attacker? GG, just go, buddy. Go. You've got the pace. He's got the pace. He's done the man. He's going to fizz it. No. Oh, it's an open net. It's still an open net. Oh, my word. <laughs> Hobbsy couldn't put it in the right area. Oh, that should have been one all. Yep, out wide. Oh, that's a really weak pass. Turn it, shoot it. Oh, he's missed it. Hobbsy again. He's missed it. Well done. Gigi's just going to go. He's just going. And he's going. And he's going. And that is why we don't bench him. He scores goals. He scores absolute rockets. Makes it one all just before the break. We'll get the chance to see how the other teams, the teams we are chasing, how they are going. So. Okay, no, we won't because none of them are playing yet because we must be the early kickoff. Hey, okay, GG, off you come. Great contribution, but you've got the yellow. So on comes Robbie Gotts, who has also scored kind of a, a lot of goals this year. Or in general, for us, he just does score a lot of goals. But Gigi has just absolutely found his shooting boots. Robbie got back across, can't find the back of the net. But that was really good pace from Sam Cech and then from Robbie Gotts to, uh, to both 
push past defenders and find the find a bit of space. There you go, Samchek, bring this down, lad. Nice. Great tackle. Yeah, really nice. I mean, that's Morgan driving forward really well. Back to him, and he's going to get the shot for that. Oh, it had the right kind of dip on it. Freeman comes off. That's all right. Marshall comes on. We've got, like, these youth-produced players who just absolutely burst into the first team and are really, really good for us. Good pass. What a challenge, O'Hora. Lovely stuff. He's back in the starting 11, having served his suspension. Good chase from Hobbsy. Oh, he's been done. Done on the turn. Lovely work again. That time it was Morgan. Inside. Now we've got numbers. GG potentially. Not not GG. Robbie got. I mean, GG's not on the pitch anymore. Early steal. Look at that. Really well done. Into the gap. Oh, that's a lovely pass. Just picked out. Oh, my word. Mac has just been embarrassed. But he does make the save. And he makes the tackle. And that's still gone out to the Barnsley player. Get away. Get in Get in the way of that. Okay, corner ball. Woo! Ben Whitfield's going to come on. Lovely stuff. Good stuff from Ben. Early contribution. Holmesy comes on to see out the game at DM. Come on. Not long to go. I'm off it. Ah, oh, that's frustrating. That is frustrating. Not what we were after. Not what we were after at all. Now we've got to score a goal. To rescue a point. Sam Cech's got a nice bit of pace about him. Moving the ball well. Keeper, please. Great save. Last attack. Ball's got to go up quickly. It does. Out wide. Don't go off. Don't go off. Oh my word, what a block. How? No, you've got to put your leg up. You've got to fight for that. You've got to fight for that. Hobbsy. Come on, buddy. The ball was there. You've got to use your body. You've got to be strong. We take a loss. And that is really going to damage our, our chances. Really is not, not what we wanted. Not what we wanted. Okay, here to Vance. Big old gap before the next game, which is against Wigan. There it is. And... Okay, Swansea are now 70 points. We've got a game in hand. If we get to... It doesn't matter. Even if we win our next game, the gap is still 8 points. And now you're getting a little bit desperate. Um... Yeah, you're getting a little bit desperate because we need other teams to really like lose their matches, which is going to be quite quite unlikely. They're playing well. They're in the position they're in because they've been playing well. So yeah, thank you for watching, guys. I do hope you enjoyed today's episode. We're coming to the end of the season. Season seven will wrap up real soon, um, and then we'll have a little bit. We'll have something else on the channel for a little bit, maybe a season of another game or something. But Barrow will keep going until we finish up. And basically, the ultimate goal is 
to win the Champions League. You know, that's the ultimate goal. To get up to the Premier League, that'll be next season's target to win promotion. Um, and then the season after that, it's gone, okay, you're in the Premier League. Can What can you do? Can you stay there? Then from there, it's like, okay, can you push up the table? Can you challenge for the title? Can you challenge for Europe? And then once you're in Europe, can you challenge for trophies? Can you challenge for the Champions League? And that's what we're going to try and do. Thank you for watching, guys. I do hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, leave a like, leave a comment, all the good stuff. You know I will reply. I'll catch you next time.